Hello and welcome to the assembly section of the uh, 3D printed wigwag engine. This is the single vertical uh, version. Um, as you see we've got the chassis um, and the base unit here. You'll notice that the base has got four holes in it. The ST files have only got two mainly because when I did this I thought I needed four but it turns out I only needed two. Um, on the bottom of the base uh, there are four uh, three mil threaded sections so if you wanted to secure this to a base you can drill some holes in through the base and uh, join it accordingly. The uh, chassis itself has also got these four holes, the new one has only got two. Uh, these are fixed by 20 mil long screws up through the bottom. Um, you'll note that the air inlet is on the side here. There is an internal uh, tube that feeds up to the, uh, the piston uh, area up the top here. This is printed as a separate section. You'll note here that it is attached. What I've done there is simply super glued that into position. When printing the chassis, uh, I suggest that you print it in that position so that this is uppermost. That ensures that the circles are as true as you can possibly get them. Uh, once it is printed, you will need to ensure that this surface here is as smooth and as flat as possible. I suggest uh, I've used P600 wet and dry, get that onto a a uh, truly flat surface and uh, wet that and you can then just flatten that out and make sure that you have, as you see there, uh, a, a smooth surface. Once the chassis has been attached to the base, as per that, uh, we can start to have a look at the main bearing assembly. This is the bearing housing. Uh, we're using Z969 bearings which are 5mm wide uh, with a 6mm core 15mm OD. Um, we put that in, first one in from this side here, slip it into place. We then have a spacer which goes in behind that, followed by the other bearing behind that. That needs to be held in position with the uh, bearing cover of which we have some small screws here which we can attach that to. Um, the bearing. Once the cover is screwed into place we can then assemble that into the chassis ensuring that this is placed in from the flywheel side which is the opposite side to the uh, bottom piece here. So push that into place uh, like so and it should look like that. The next thing we can do we can put in the pivot bearing uh, which is this piece here which goes into the top again making sure that it goes in in that direction and just push it into place. At this point this assembly can be put to one side whilst we then look at the piston.